Good morning and welcome back. So glad you joined us today for DI Lives, what the power of the 3D Experience platform means to the SOLIDWORKS user. We invite you to stick around after today's presentation for a live Q&A. We'll get started momentarily as we're just waiting a couple minutes for others to join. Without further ado, I'll hand things over to Lynn Allen, Global Technology Evangelist at Dassault Systems. Hi there, Lynn Allen here. Big thank you to CATI for inviting me to participate in this conference. I'm a Global Technology Evangelist for SOLIDWORKS, and I'm so excited that I get to talk to you today about what the power of the 3D Experience platform means to you, our SOLIDWORKS User, okay, look, I know, I know, I know. You could have my solid works when you pry it from my cold, dead hands. I totally get it. And that's why I want to make sure that you completely understand. Let me please be clear that we are not canceling, we're not terminating, we're not getting rid of, we're not stopping the improvements of your beloved SOLIDWORKS. We're not getting rid of perpetual licenses. We're not forcing you to go to SAS. All right. We aim to please. We, the 3D experience platform, it really simply extends the power of SOLIDWORKS. Okay. I want to make sure this is really clear. It is not SOLIDWORKS or it's not one or the other. It is SOLIDWORKS and we're just adding to all the wonderful goodness of SOLIDWORKS. All right, but this is how I feel like you guys are. <laughs> you guys are like, no, I just want my SOLIDWORKS. I want you guys to all go away. Don't tell me anything else at all. I've seen it, I've heard it. And I can't say that I really blame you because I, I feel like we really piled it on with all this 3D experience here, 3D experience there. I mean, we changed your beloved SOLIDWORKS world to 3D experience world, for example. So let me explain to you why, because I think this is really important is that uh, it's not just SOLIDWORKS anymore. We, the SOLIDWORKS uh, 3D Experience Works is made up of other great, fabulous brands as well that you get to take advantage of. So we also have Anovia Works, which is that awesome data management aspect on the cloud that I'm gonna talk a little bit about today. It allows you to, to, to that is focused on SOLIDWORKS, by the way, and Similia Works, how you can do the simulation on the cloud with what? with SOLIDWORKS and then Delmia works as well. Same idea, the manufacturing aspect of it, taking it to that next level also focused around, you guessed it, SOLIDWORKS. So uh, it's more than just SOLIDWORKS. SOLIDWORKS, of course, is the king 
<laughs> but for 3D experience, we changed it to 3D experience world because it's, it, it wouldn't be fair to the other brands, right? If we kept it as, as SolidWorks. Well, that's one of the reasons. I just want to make sure that you understand that uh, it's SolidWorks. And, but I totally understand where you're coming from. All right, so, so I want to talk to you about the 3D experience platform. Hopefully your ears are open a little bit now, like maybe. All right, but you're like, but what's in it for me, Lynn? What's in it for me? All right, I'm gonna tell you what's in it for you. We're gonna talk about why you would even care about the 3D experience platform. Why, you, why don't you just stick with just SolidWorks and live happily ever after, all right? So of course you have your SolidWorks. It is installed on your desktop. That's not gonna change. You're gonna to continue to do that on your workstation, whatever that happens to be. But we wanna amp it up. We wanna also give you the power of the cloud to go along with your beloved SolidWorks. And that's where the 3D Experience platform comes in. So I know that you know all about the cloud, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about the cloud and what it really means to you as a CAD user. All right, at your company and as a CAD user, because I want to make sure that it is clear. To me, there's four different aspects of what the cloud brings to you specifically. There's the collaboration aspect of it. And I wrote a whole article for uh, engineers rule engineering.com. If you're interested, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about collaboration. Hey, it's a lot more than you think it is. It's more than you think it is. The collaboration aspect of it. So you can talk, you can work with people anywhere in the world now. You're not limited to your office, your city, your state. As long as there's an internet connection, you can design and you can work with people anywhere in the world, right? We certainly learned that through COVID. There's the mobility aspect of it. So you have access to your data, your information, your models anytime, anywhere on any device, the mobility aspect of it. And then there's the data management aspect of the cloud. And I actually think this is the part you're gonna like the most. I talk about the value of the 3D experience platform to you. So we'll be talking about that. And then to me, however, <laughs> to me the most powerful aspect of the cloud is that no longer are you limited to whatever computer your manager decided you were worthy to have or whatever your budget could afford now you have access to those 75 million super servers out there which make up the cloud and you can do things that you could never do before you have that infinite computing power we're talking big time baby so you can you can process some amazing amounts of information lots and lots of variables faster and in ways that we could never do before and that's me that's where you talk about the real power of the cloud. So we'll talk a little bit about that. All right, let's start off by talking about the land of collaboration. All right, so now how do you start your work day? Okay, after you get coffee. Most of us, maybe not you, but most of us start by opening up our email and answering emails and we manage our projects through our emails and we find out what we have to do today and i didn't do this yesterday i got to answer all this anyway we start out our day with email so let's talk about that because you know email is so yesterday <laughs> but if you you know when the first email was sent in 1971 i always ask myself who sent who'd you send the first email to for the first person Nobody else has it. Who do you send it to? All right, that was a long time ago. 1971, almost 50 years ago. It was a long time ago, but we're still using it a lot. Now, not these kids coming out of college, kids in high school, younger, they're like, what's up with you guys in email? So it's only a matter of time before email will fade away. Trust me. But for right now, we're still bogged down with email. That's not the way to manage your projects. Oh my gosh. So here's some stats for you. On average, we get 304 weekly business emails. I feel like I get more, I don't know about you, but it's a lot. It's a lot of emails a day and a lot of emails a week, right? And 36 times the average employee checks their email in an hour. Oh my goodness, is that how many times you check them? Okay, that's bad, I don't think I do that. I hope I don't do that. That's very disruptive. And then 16 minutes it takes us to really refocus after we handle our incoming email. That is a massive disruption. So when you're working on your model, your assembly, you're designing, you're working on your products, and then you go and you check your email, it takes you 16 minutes before you really get back into what you were doing, back into your 
project. That is bad. Okay, that's very disrupt disruptive. We can do better than that. So the 3D, excuse me, the 3D experience platform is such a better alternative for working on your projects, working on product design, for working on, on product management. It is specifically built to just for you, just for you or Solidworks users, just for you. And it's not disruptive. Now, when you go into the 3D experience platform in the morning, you log on, you can just hit you can just hit enter because it remembers who you were if you want. You log on. It does have an option. You can go see if anybody sent you some, some emails, basically, inside a 3D experience platform if you have some alerts that you need to answer. But you look at, look at this. You can get information on where you are in your project, what needs to be done. There's some beautiful SOLIDWORKS models right in front of you. Some nice communities. You can go in and you can have a conversation about things. It's very low stress. It's very collaborative. And it is so not yesterday. It's so today moving forward. It's very easy to set up projects. There's a, an actual role called project planner. Imagine that, what a clever name. And it's easy to go in and you set up your project and you set up milestones. I want it, you know, where you want, I need to be here by a certain date. This is a milestone and you can assign tasks to people and specific deliverables and it's very low stress. And you know, one of the things I love is the fact that at Dasso Systems, we all use a 3D experience platform for just like everything. And we do, we use project planner all the time for our projects. We use the 3D experience platform for all kinds of things. We go in and we get our alerts on there. We get, we talk to other people on there and we find out if we're behind on a task on there, I can tell you that. And we also, we deliver presentations on there and you know we post our information on there. We use that. We try to use our email a, a much lesser amount than the average business. We try to do as much as we can on the 3D experience platform. We talk the talk, we talk the talk, it's great. We like it. 3D Experience Platform is built for product development and design, specifically brought to you by the people who bring you SOLIDWORKS. They get it. No one else gets it. Slack doesn't get it. Microsoft Team doesn't get it. We get it. It's very easy for you to create these dashboards that full that is just full of these wonderful, very powerful metrics. Well, we use these all the time. So you can set up these, these dashboards. You can measure just about anything that you want. You can grab the information from spread, Excel spreadsheets if you want. There's a variety of different ways where you can grab the metrics actually. And then you can have these going at any given time so that members of the team can come in and they can check out the information. You don't have to send it to them. You can just go, hey, did you look at the dashboard? Let me just tell you how much time that saves and you can you could like here's an example of ecrs you could have it checking on sales you could have it there's all different types of things that you can put in here very very powerful we are dashboard happy at ds and then the 3d experience platform it was also once again built specifically to work with your solidworks files very easy to post them right into a project um when you accomplish a specific milestone. You can just drop it right in there. It's great for issue management. It keeps track of, you know, of um, issues that need to be resolved. So much better than, than email. Much easier to keep track of things. Come on, I know you lose things all the time in email. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about this. 3D experience for, for project management. So you have transparent access into the timeline for all stakeholders. So I can, at any point in time, I could go take a look at where we are in the product development cycle. I can see where we are, anybody who can that you allow to. No one has to go to the project manager and say, hey, where are we? Everybody knows they have access to it. It's very easy, as I mentioned, to post your SOLIDWORKS model data anywhere you want to in the project. You can set up very obvious task reminders to keep everybody in line to make sure that everybody stays on track. And it's definitely more efficient than email. Those design changes can be processed in a very orderly fashion so that everybody knows what's going on. Everybody can keep track of everything. And you can review your tasks without having to leave SOLIDWORKS. You don't have any of that disruption that you have like with email where it takes you the 16 minutes to get back on track. Can't have that going on. And then you have the ability to reap the advantages of true collaboration and you know let me just say uh once again collaboration is underrated and very very valuable you can increase your innovation for example when everybody's working today together and truly collaborate collaborating innovation goes up which is very helpful when it comes to product design and you can unite the technical and the non-technical and you're like lynn why would we want to do that well if you've ever had a marketing person come to you because they want the model for a brochure or something like that 
you don't have to give it to them. They can just go get a model. They have access to it. You can just give them access to it. They don't have to bug you, which is really, really nice. So you can reunite the technical and the non-technical. You'd actually find that the marketing department, for example, learns a lot more about your products and what's going on, which is great. Your design problems are solved faster because you have a bunch of people that are collaborating at one time. And you'll actually find that people are more unified and you have a more educated workplace. That sounds a little crazy, but when everybody's paying attention to a project like you have on the 3D Experience platform, everybody's more educated and everyone knows what's going on, which ultimately the last bullet saves you time and money. And we like to save time and money. Am I right? Yeah, let's move on to mobility, All right? You guys totally get this. We all have mobile phones. We understand the value of being mobile. Mobility anytime, anywhere, and on any device. So that's really powerful. We certainly learned that when we all got sent home, right? When COVID hit. So if you were in a situation where you got sent home, maybe you did have, maybe you did have SolidWorks installed on your computer at home, but you forgot to check it out, right? You didn't check it out from your work, and then you couldn't access it, and we had to go through special protocols to get you access to it. So the nice thing about the 3D Experience SolidWorks offers, which I'll talk to you about at the very end, is that you can access your SolidWorks you know, from any place that you want to because it talks to you, me, Lynn Allen. When Lynn Allen wants to log on to SolidWorks, I can do so from anywhere. I do have to have it installed in whatever system I'm at, but I, because it recognizes me, it knows I can't be two places at one time, it will let me log on from anywhere. I don't have to check it out from work and then check it back in at home and then check it out from home, check it back into work and all of that nonsense. I don't have to do any of that. So would have solved a lot of problems. Okay, let's talk about CAD in the cloud. And you're like, what, Lynn, were you not listening earlier when you when I when we agreed that you can have my SolidWorks when you pry it from my cold, dead hands, Lynn, were you not listening? Okay, I was listening, I was listening. So, but let's talk. Can we talk? Can we talk? <laughs> so believe it or not, there are some people out there who want CAD on the cloud. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there who want CAD on the cloud. <laughs> So you can keep your SOLIDWORKS on your desktop, but there are, once again, especially the younger people who you tell them, okay, first you take the software and you install it on your computer. They look at you like you are on drugs. <laughs> you want me to do what? Can't I just log on to a website and then draw? <laughs> so you, we would be foolish and we would be very medieval if we didn't move forward and also, check out the word also, and offer CAD on the cloud, not instead of, but also offer CAD on the cloud. And that's exactly what we have with 3D Creator with X Design. okay? So it's also available to you and it's awesome. It's great and you can try it. <laughs> it comes with the 3D Experience SolidWorks offers. You don't have to use it, but you can try it. Maybe you've been in a scenario where uh, you have been, had your tablet and you came up with this great idea. You wanted to sketch it out. You wanted, you wish you had your SolidWorks, but you know, you can't get SolidWorks to run on a tablet. Good luck with that. So you have this ability to log on to 3D Creator and you could just go on and do it. And it's very same basic concepts as SolidWorks. In fact, you'll find some pretty similar tools on there. And then you could create a pretty impressive model. Why not? So it's there, it's available for you. It gets stronger and stronger every day. We would be really remiss if we did not create a CAD program that ran on the cloud, right? I mean, look at our competitors. We gotta stay with the game, right? We gotta stay up with the game. So we got it. If you want it, we got it. And just so you know, there are some people that do want CAD on the cloud and they love X Design. so give it a try. And then in addition to that, we also offer this product called, well, a role called 3D Sculptor. The actual product name is X-Shape, and it allows you to create these uh, beautiful organic shapes with those really complex surfaces, which are a pain to do in SolidWorks. This is a sub-D modeler, really easy to push and pull, very friendly, and hey, you can, you can take that, whatever you do here, and you can put it around your SolidWorks models. You know, like here, you could create that motorcycle helmet on there, but you could, or you could, you could put it around anything that you want to on SolidWorks. You can put them together, vice versa, and so on. So it's just in addition to, not in place 
of, just so we're clear. All right, data management. This is the part I think you guys are gonna like the most because I think this is the, the thing that we can relate to on an everyday basis. For example, hey, data management, the pain is real, right? If you've ever tried to find a file, a part, a model, couldn't find it, ended, if you ever ended up just, uh, you, could, you could have drawn it like five times in the amount of time that it took you to try to find it. Have you ever done that? Yeah, I've done that, so frustrating. Or have you ever realized that you were working on something and it wasn't the most recent version of a model? Oh, that's really frustrating. Have you ever said to yourself, who made these changes? These are terrible changes, who did that? Okay, but you wanna know, you wanna know who? These are all things that you can find out if you have data management on the 3D Experience platform. How about this little dialog box here, unable to locate the file? Oh, ouch, that's terrible, so frustrating. None of that will happen if you have the 3D Experience platform. Somebody changed the name and now your assembly doesn't open right or you open the assembly and bits and pieces are suddenly missing. Ah, so frustrating. Or somehow your files are getting overwritten. No data management in place if that's happening. And uh, you rely on your users to have these proper naming conventions and they're not following the rules. They're not following the rules. If that's your idea of, of data management, by the way, we are, you are in trouble. That is not data management. I know some of you think it is. It is not. Have you ever had this happen? Not available for write access. It's read only. Also, very frustrating. Funny, not funny. <laughs> That's the guy down there. Which version is the good version? Which is the right? What's the last version? What's the good one? So you want to make it easy for others to access and use your design data, but you also want to keep working in SolidWorks, right? Don't get in my way. Here, you take this, but I need to keep Keep working in SolidWorks. You need that check-in, check-out capability, right? You want to share your design data, but the files are huge. Oh my gosh, assemblies can get so big. And sometimes when you send them, not everything gets sent. And then, then you lose control too. Who knows what they're going to do to the individual files? Parts are missing. Things go bad. It all goes badly. You need data management. And maybe you wanted to invest in data management and PDM, but you, you, you took a look at the hardware costs, the servers you'd have to buy, and then you'd have to deal with IT and that was gonna cost a lot or just be a big headache and you're like, forget it. I have my naming conventions, who needs any more? And you wanna make sure that your files of course are safe and secure, right? So you run into these scenarios and that's why you really need to take a look at the 3D Experience platform and the data management on there, which by the way, behind the scenes, you don't even need to know this, it's run by Anovia Works. You don't need to know, I'm just telling you. That's one of those pillars I was talking about as part of this expanded SolidWorks, right? Part of the 3D Experience Works platform. All right, so what do you get? Safe and secure file storage, all right? Just as safe as your bank. I like to think my money is safe, highly safe and secure. Maybe you can go into your computer and stick a USB drive in there and take your stuff. This is way more secure. And you don't have to worry about IT. It's no or low IT. I say it's no IT because this is all from the cloud. It's all stored up in the cloud. No hardware costs. You're using those servers. You're not using your stuff. You're always working on the latest version of a file. You don't have to worry about whether or not you have the most recent version of a file. And you have it, the ability to go back and see who the revision history, who did what, how, when, where, how, and why. You can be a serious private investigator. And of course, the data mobility aspect of it. It's in the cloud. You can access that data from anywhere. You go home, you can access those files very easily. You can work from anywhere. You can work from the beach, and I think that's important. We should all have that goal from the beach. Most importantly, you have a single source of truth, and that is very important. Everybody will know this is the model. This is the assembly. These are all the parts to the assembly, and everything is up to date, and we're all gonna work on the same single source of truth. And we can do that because it is in the cloud. Yes. And it's really easy to so you know, to launch SolidWorks from the platform. It's not complicated at all. You literally go into the platform, you just get, use the defaults. You will not get this ad that I have on here. <laughs> you'll just go in and you'll get, you'll get information about your projects probably. And you just click on SolidWorks Connected. It's not hard to get to, click, you're in. Or if you prefer, you can type in the, you know, start to do, type in the name of the last part that you were working on, model you were working on, assembly you were working on, and it will do an autocomplete they'll search for everything that falls into that category and you can just pick the one you want to work on and you can open it from there. Whatever is easiest for you. Just so you know, it's not complicated. It's not filled with a lot of extra steps. I don't like lots of extra steps. 
I bet you don't either. All right, last but not least, my favorite, infinite computing. You have access to all of those servers. All right, we'll talk about SimulaWorks, another one of those pillars, right? So now you have the ability to do simulation in the cloud. All right, what is simulation? Hey, if you don't have a good workstation and you try to do simulation, you're gonna find out your, your workstation is gonna cry. It's gonna go slow. So perfect example where the cloud comes to the rescue. When you have lots of variable, lots of data crunching, that's where you really wanna take advantage of the cloud. And here you can see, we have an example where it looks like there's something wrong, right? There's some integrity issues here because we've learned that red is bad. So we could help fix our design before it's real. Super important, you can do lots of testing, lots of simulation, come up with better designs. And that's really, really important. So the infinite computing power can be used in so many different ways. We've only started to you know, scratch the surface of that. Some other benefits you may not think about. So we love it when a new release of SOLIDWORKS come out. 2021 is out, yay! And then we go, oh no, now I need to go to all my computers and install it. <laughs> That's no fun. <laughs> That's the good and the bad. So with the, with the 3D Experience platform, if, with the offers, these updates, first of all, they're really out lightweight. I don't even know how they got the SOLIDWORKS so lightweight, but it's pretty lightweight. And you'll see that it's automatically updated throughout the year. Updates happen all the time, just like, you know, just like with our phone, with our phone, I'll demo for you, just like with our phone. And so they're more frequent and they're lighter. And that means you get cool access to features throughout the year. So you have bragging rights with your friends. You don't have to wait until 2022 for the next release. And you have also the ability to, if you've had issues like how many licenses do I have and who's got the licenses, you never really know. Now with the 3D Experience platform, you know exactly how many licenses you have. You can add, you can subtract, you get a big project, you can add some licenses and then you can get rid of those licenses. You just have a lot better control. That'll save you money. If you're like ever just bought some more licenses because you didn't think you had enough, <laughs> don't do that, don't do that. And then you have all the applications that you need under one platform. So it's all 3D experience. It's all one platform. You don't have Slack and Teams and Dropbox and all. They don't talk to each other. They don't speak CAD. They don't speak SolidWorks. They don't know. They don't know. 3D experience platform, it speaks SolidWorks. And that's really, really important. All one-stop shop. So, all right, this is the part where I sound very salesy, by the way, when I talk about the 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS offers, but I wanna make sure that you understand them. Just the word offers makes me sound salesy, but I wanna make sure you understand them so it's clear. Now, there are three different offers, left to right, they get more expensive, no surprise. But I want you to see that all three of these offers, which just came out in July, uh, they all have collaborative business innovator and collaborative industry innovator. That doesn't matter. All you need to know is, that you get most of the project management stuff that I talked about and all the data management stuff that I talked about. Almost everything that I talked about that had to do with collaboration and the project management and all the collaboration stuff and the data management stuff, you are good, you are in. All the headache stuff, it's in there. No more headaches, save money on Tylenol, that's in all three offers, okay? Now the very first, oh, they all come with SOLIDWORKS, right? They all come with the SOLIDWORKS that you install on your workstation, okay? Remember, SOLIDWORKS is not running in the cloud. It's just connected to the cloud, all right? Your data is connected. It's all connected to the cloud for goodness so you can feel secure and <laughs> safe and sound. And then the first offer, you can see you get 3D Creator. That's CAD in the cloud. Some of you are like, whatever. And then the second offer, you get 3D Creator and 3D Sculptor. That is that surface modeler, that sub-D surface modeler. And then the last offer, you'll see that it also adds in simulation designer. Now I want to make sure this is clear. This is not SimulaWorks. This is not simulation in the cloud. This is a desktop version of simulation. So this is, uh, it is um, connected to 3D experience platform. So I don't want you to get confused about that. I don't want to make it sound too, it's still great, but it's not SimulaWorks, which is the way, by the way, all right. Now, the cool thing about these offers is that you really don't pay much more. In one case, I think you just, it's like even less than what you would have to pay for just regular SOLIDWORKS right now. That's why I want you to pay attention. It's a very, very tiny, tiny little delta. So please promise me you will take a look at it because it's not much more.
And that's why I feel like I need to explain it to you. So don't miss out. I don't want you to miss out. So the three D experience platform, it speaks SolidWorks. And I think that's super, super important. Written by the company that brings you SolidWorks. They get it. Nobody gets product design and development like SolidWorks does. So please take a look, keep your mind open. The 3D experience platform, what's in it for you? All right, so I talked about kind of what it means to your business, but I really wanna talk about what it means to you personally, because I think that's important too. What about you? You, <laughs> what's in it for you personally? So you get to take your vast SolidWorks knowledge with you, you get to continue to build on it. Now you're just learning more, which is good. That's really good for you. I promise it is, it won't hurt you. It's just more. And your SolidWorks experience is gonna be even better and more enjoyable and less frustrating to work with. You don't have that tedium of losing your files. Everything's gonna be more organized and you're gonna be in the latest and greatest SolidWorks, always. No one's gonna have a head, heads up on you. You're always gonna have the most up-to-date SolidWorks. And you're gonna find that if your other team members are on the 3D experience platform, you're gonna feel less siloed. You're gonna be more of a part of a team. I know some of you guys like to be siloed. You're gonna to like to be more of a part of a team. You'll get more done. Your, pro your design problems will get solved faster. You can be more innovative. It just, it's better. It is, it's better. You have more chances to innovate and participate in other parts of the design and manufacturing process, right? You have a chance to look into the other aspects that you never had a chance to look into before. This is, you know, that's really, really interesting because uh, in the past, you're kind of stuck in your, in your part. I do this part of the, of the design process and you didn't get to see what everybody else did, but now as part of the team and part of the platform, you can see what everybody's doing. You'll become more educated. You're gonna, you'll, your worth will get higher, become higher. Maybe you can start to contribute to their, the other aspects. Maybe you can even move around to the different design teams. This is something for you to think about. And hey, if you've ever needed to convince your boss to work remotely, not right now, you don't have to worry about it with COVID, but later on down the road, if everybody's adopted the 3D experience platform, wow, what, what a great justification to work remotely because it makes it easy to work remotely. Something to throw into your arsenal. And then I just think there's more opportunities for personal growth because you are going to be on the cutting edge of technology. You can easily add, there's dozens of apps on the platform if you want them that you can grab and use to do different things, that you can learn more, you can expand your horizon, which eventually, along with SolidWorks, with your SolidWorks, not instead of your SolidWorks. And I'm a big fan of always building the resume, learning new skills, adding them to your resume so that you are worth more. And that's what I think is really important. So we all wanna be worth more, I do. So don't be like this, don't be like these guys, all right? We can't protest against new technology. We shouldn't be embracing new technology. It just might make your lives better. We like that, right? So don't be like these guys. And then I always end with this phrase because I like this phrase. The most dangerous phrase in the language is, we've always done it this way. Don't be like this. I say this all the time. We've always done it this way. Ugh. Of course, we want you to continue to embrace SolidWorks. We don't want you to ever stop doing that. We know that SolidWorks is wonderful and we love the fact that you have wrapped your arms around it and you use it every day and that you and you are so proud of it. And we really appreciate you for that. And so I wanna thank you for listening to me during my presentation. And please reach out to me if you have any questions, lynn.allen at 3ds.com. I hope I opened your mind at least a little bit to think about the 3D Experience platform when you're ready, just when you're ready. And uh, I want to also thank CATI again for inviting me to present. So enjoy the rest of the conference and until next time.